I just heard you don't have to be afraid to love this person. Mm. You do not have to be afraid to love this person. You've been so patient is what I've heard. You've worked on yourself. You cleaned up a lot of those negative traits, that, that those negative traits. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're able to communicate better. You are living above emotional influence, right? Um, somebody has matured emotionally. Matured emotionally. And there's no need for you to fear. Because love, love is here. Mm -hmm, love is here. Let's see what's going on. Because you're kind of scared to even crack your chest open for this person. You don't want to give them your heart. You don't want to be vulnerable with them. Your beliefs are right for you. They are. Your beliefs are right for you, but you don't have to be scared to love this person. It's like, it is no such thing as right or wrong. Okay? It's not a right or wrong belief system. It's like, Whatever the conditions are for your belief system right now is right for you. At this particular time, it's what the Jesus is saying. And with your belief system, they are encouraging you to treat others the same with love and dignity and respect and, and, and show people what love is. Believe in love. You understand what I'm saying? It's like... Right now, everything is right for your soul. <laughs> That's what the Jesus is saying. And, and don't expect for your beliefs just to be, you know, locked down and no one is not comprehending them like it's a mystery or something. It's, it's, it's not a mystery. It's some mysteries of the universe. And the Jesus wants you to accept what resonates and release the rest back to the universe. You understand me, you know, because uh, these belief systems can cause cause a lot of upheaval in your personal realm of being. Is what I'm hearing. You know, it's is people think differently, and just because this person doesn't think the same of you, every soul, you know, has a different journey. Just because this person doesn't think the same as you, every soul has a different journey, and it's not like we all traveling down the same the same um. The same road, we just happen to cross paths. You know what I'm saying? Your beliefs, what you think, you know, what you eat don't make the next person shit. You feel what I'm saying? What you eat don't make the the next person shit. But you, the Jesus saying, it's okay for you to love this person, baby. It is. It's okay for you to love them. Let's see what's going on. You kind of timid here. You are timid, like I don't know, like shit. Do I want to go through this love thing again? Yes. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Your, your, your soul has called in this person. Your soul. Your soul has called in this person. And right now, you kind of like, I don't know what the hell to do. Do I move forward? Do I just, you know, keep things how they are? Um, for one, stay positive because you know whatever it is that you think and you fuck around and you see that shit happen. So let's let's not try to control the narratives and shit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to control how this relationship pop off. You know how you fall in love. You know, don't even try to control the the menu planning. You know, let everything fall into place. Is what I just heard. Let everything fall into place and choose love over fear. Mm -hmm. Choose love. Over fear. It's okay for you to love this person. That's what the Jesus is saying. Let's see what else they want you to know. Let's see what else they would like for you to know. Two of fire. Two of fire. You see that card? I love the illustrations on these cards. I do. I love the illustration on the good tarot deck. But with that two of fire, I'm really feeling like you are a pessimist. <laughs> you are a pessimist. And it's like you already are inspired. <laughs> you already inspired by this person. So trust the unknown is what I'm seeing. 
trust the unknown and just, just get creative, you know, for planning for your future. Map out your progress. It's like, you, you, you and this person, you know, your beliefs may be different, but it's like y'all envisioning the same thing though, right? And it's, it, it's, a, it's a call for y'all to, it's, you know, you, you got to deepen the communication. You got to deepen the communication. It's like you already started on this road with this person and you seeing a lot of progress. <laughs> you seeing a lot of progress with your scaredy cat ass. You scared, you scared, but you know, the passion that you feel for life, the zest that you feel for life in, um, a, a loving, committed relationship, a solid foundation is the same that this person is feeling for you. Y'all own the same, y'all on the same wavelength when it comes to that. And it's like spirit is helping y'all see y'all way. And the universe is aligning properly to bring you what it is that you need. And the G said right now, what you need is this camaraderie, this companionship, it said it's, it's, it's been good for your soul. It's been good for your soul. It said it's been good for your skin, too. Go look in the mirror and look at that glow. Look look at that glow is what the Jesus is saying. Um, someone also, you know, keep them goddamn mask on. You, I, I just heard, you know, it's, it's too many folk in your community. Who um coming up with that corny virus with the with the coronavirus, you know? So keep your mask on. I don't care if you're around your family. Wash your hands when you come in the house. It's the same as flu season. We're just gonna have to, you know, keep doing this shit on a regular basis because you know our government infected us. Period. Point blank. What's that smell? What's that smell? Pisces. Mystery. Look at that here. Weren't we just talking about a mystery? Huh? What? Wasn't we? Wasn't we just talking about a mystery, baby? We sure was talking about a mystery concerning your belief systems. You know what I'm saying? Um, you you were you are for real. Period. And know that you are never alone. Your your spiritual team, your angels, your your your, your spirit guides are always with you. And a handful of your ancestors too. And right now, right now, I'm hearing you gonna have to treat others the way you wanna be treated. <laughs> what's what's wrong with you encouraging this relationship? This 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 connection is what the G's is saying. So who do you believe in? Do you believe in yourself? You got to follow the route that speaks to your heart. I am grinning from ear to ear. I do not know why, but I am grinning from ear to ear. At the bottom, I have full moon. Up under that, I have twins. Um, family tree. This month, something about, you know, broken bones and you need to stop in your tracks. Um, wait a minute, babe. Pausing and stopping in your tracks and watching how you talk to people. That goes along with that integrity, that dignity, and, you know, choosing love over fear. Mm -hmm. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt this route that you're on either. Everything happens for a good goddamn reason. It's all for your soul's evolution. Right? Right. You're going to have to be intuitively led by spirit. Um, before you even consult with a friend, you know, your, your favorite Wody, your best friend who always help you out with all your concerns when it comes to relationships. You know what I'm saying? You got coffee, you got juice, you got water. When it comes to all your relationships, um, don't even consult with them. You know what I'm saying? Keep 
kill three birds with one stone. I don't know where that came from, but kill three birds with one stone. And you pray on it. You pray on this relationship. It's something that you felt as though was missing from your life, right? Somebody on your elbow, somebody you can talk to and confide in. I just heard I'm tired of these. Ooh, I'm tired of these. I'm going to tell you what I heard. I'm tired of these hoes and shit. These bitter brawls. That's what I just heard. So, if, if, is that you? You tired of, you know, being around your bitter friends and shit? You know what I'm saying? You, you would like to grow on a path with someone that you know that you can trust. Someone who's going to honor the connection. Someone who's going to be loyal to you. What's the mystery, though, baby? And what's that smell? We about to see what that smell is, too. What is the smell, Pisces? What's that smell? Hmm? Something stinking? What's stinking? You got an opportunity, but it's like you, you, you're placing um stigmas on them. Is what I'm hearing. You got a lot of opportunities, Pisces. You do. You have a lot of opportunities. Nine swords. A lot been keeping you up at night, too. Knight of wands. It's this energy you in. Quit overthinking shit. You don't understand what I'm saying? Seven of pentacles. And eight of wands. So. Hmm. That smell. That smell. Mm, that smell. You, you, it's like a fragrance. It could be a stench as well. Wake you up out your sleep. It wakes you up out of your sleep is what I'm hearing. It puts you in a different energy. I don't know if you have some aromatherapy going on. Some potpourri close to your bedside or on your living room table. I don't know what's going on. Scented candles. Uh, however, with this nine of swords, I'm feeling that smell is something that has come back. Something or someone that has come back. Hmm. Yeah, something or someone who has come back. It's not really a mystery, right? It's 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 not really a mystery. Because see what I'm feeling is that smell has a lot to do with how somebody switched their energy. How somebody switched their dang on energy. Somebody switched up on you, Pisces. Somebody switched up on you. Cause they don't believe what it is that you believe. They don't believe what it is that you believe, right? And something that you believe in making a lot of sense, Pisces. It's, it's, it's making a lot of sense. It's aligning up properly. It's aligning up properly. And, you know, I, I really feel deep down that you got some type of psychic abilities. <laughs> For real, I feel deep down that you have some sort of psychic abilities. You've been having a lot of downloads and intuitive nudges from your spiritual team. I told you, you're not all alone. That smell is one of your ancestors, I just heard. Mm -hmm. Somebody who didn't pass on, Pisces. It's, you know, and it puts a smile on your face sometimes, but then a lot of times it kind of puts you in a, a offset mood, is what I'm hearing. This ancestor is trying to tell you something. This ancestor is trying to further tell you something. But I feel like, you know, you've already peeped game. It really, the mystery is unraveling. Whatever has been mysterious for you, it's unraveling. You know, you, you, you walking up on what has supposed to been hidden. What was supposed to have been mysterious. You cracking some case. 
it's a case in your personal realm of being, Pisces. But again, again, everybody don't have to think the same as you. I feel as though a lot of your thoughts are, you know, not to be disrespectful or outdated. Um, someone can't let go of the past. Uh, and it's time to usher in some new energy is what I'm hearing and recondition the way that you're thinking um, and not be so impulsive and quick to react. That's going to be counterproductive for what you have coming in your near future. You hear me? Something that you have coming in your near future. Hold on to that thought. Hold on to that thought, Pisces. Let's see. What's the mystery, spirit? Mm -hmm. They got a lot of sun. Seven of Wands. Ten of Swords. Ace of Cups. And Queen of Wands. That's male too, Pisces. Mm. It's like a reenactment. You smelt that before. It's kind of like a ferocious smell. Putrid. Rancid. Like. Like a dead rodent or something. I promise like a dead rodent. Somebody got a cat. Or is that somebody's cat? However, with this Seven of Wands energy and this Ten of Swords, it's like this mystery has been testing your gangster. It's been testing your gangster, Pisces. It's been testing your gangster. Like, wait a minute. Did, what are you doing behind my back? <laughs> What are you doing behind my back to get yourself together? To get yourself together, right? Um, again, everybody don't have to have the same belief system as you, Pisces. Everybody don't have to have the same belief system as you. But what I'm seeing, though, you do have a right to feel how you feel. And I'm hearing also... Um, your, your, your female ancestors, right? Your female ancestors are trying to get this conceitedness up out of you. Somebody is very arrogant and very conceited um, and very shallow is what I'm hearing. Um, you like Papa. You just stood all you can stand and you can't stand no motherfucking more, right? But it's, it's something mysterious and it's that cat. Take that how it resonates, Pisces. It is that cat. See, somebody is interested in someone. Other than you, that's true. Other than you, that is true. And what I'm hearing is this, this, this has all been set up divinely by your spiritual team by your spiritual team for a graceful ending a graceful ending it's someone that has began to fill you up with love joy somebody i feel as though you want to commit yourself to pisces someone that you you want to grow old with it's like they didn't they love bombed you. They love bombed you and it's like you can feel all this love that they have for you. They most definitely are interested in you too. They do, they feel the same way. I said that earlier, right? I sure did. I sure did, but it's somebody standing in the way and it's somebody, something, that smell that your female ancestors are trying to get you to pay attention to, Pisces. That 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 smell, they 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 want you to pay attention to that smell. They want you to be alert. What in the effing hell is that smell? 
see, I'm, I'm also feeling like this belief system too, you know, has a lot to do with um, financial success, financial success, uh, relationships, um, the ins and outs of relationships. Um, Y'all not seeing eye to eye on that, right? However, this security is 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 finance. If somebody, somebody has, mm, they have envisioned this process, right? This process has been trademarked by this energy. Mm -hmm. It has been trademarked by this energy, and it's it's some psychological matters that's going on too. Somebody is a straight game guy. They are. Um, but they teaching. I heard they teaching. They teaching. Mm -hmm. They teaching. What they teaching is how you is for you to fight for what you love because this is somebody that you scared to love. It's a situationship, you know. Something has been illuminated to you though, so now you, you you're able to learn and interpret and explore. The recesses of your mind, your heart, and your soul a little better. I feel like you 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 running over shit with a fine tooth comb, right? Somebody about to end something. Even though, you know, it's been successful thus far. But the only success, you know, is is money. It's more to life than money. Although it makes life, you know, comfortable. It does. It makes life comfortable. However, it's like this so you're not you're not feeling secure. And that smell is getting to you. And here go this page of cups again. That page of cups. That smell is getting to you. It's like a fishy smell too, huh? Rancid, putrid. Like pond water is what I'm hearing. Like pond water. You have been meaning to say something about that smell. Mm, it smell like death, Pisces? Damn. You've been meaning to say something about that smell. Ooh, spirit is on that smell. This smell has something to do with um, some sort of sexual passion. Someone who was supposed to have been deaded and shedded. Somebody who was supposed to have been... You know, out of your personal realm of being, this person was not supposed to be wrapped up in your energy, let alone, um, you know, in your in your vicinity is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Pisces, before you start getting hostile, it's what I'm hearing. Before you start, you know. Letting all those negative thoughts take over you to where, you know, you're behaving out of sorts. Um, it is time for you to chill out. It's time for you to chill out. Um, I'm hearing too. It's an offer that you want to make. It's an offer that you want to make elsewhere. You got to address this smell, Pisces. Mm-hmm. You, you you got to address this smell. Strength card reversed. Sun card reversed. Page of Pentacles reversed. So listen here. I'm hearing that you want to dark about something. And it has a lot to do with that smell, baby. It has a lot to do with that smell. They are highlighting this smell. Um, somebody trying to block out what it is that you know to be true. Trying to play you really like you don't know what's going on. Like you don't know the human body. Like you don't know the sociology of a lot as well. I feel like I'm talking to somebody who is very, very, very smart, right? Very smart. And I feel like, you know, there's been some sort of 
embarrassment that has taken place. This embarrassment, I feel as though um, somebody has been working very, very hard to um, clear up, to clear up some sort of mistake, some sort of mistake with that page of Pentacles reversed. It's like, you are, you're very studious is what the G's are saying. And they want you to reflect on that smell. And they want you to apply pressure. Because with that ten of swords, it's like, it's going to be, it's, it's an act of betrayal. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a wound that we re reopens is what I just heard. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a, a wound that reopens. Um, it's like this lavishness that you're living right now, right? Something has been altered in the way that you have been perceiving a lot too. You hear me? Uh, it, it's, it's something that has altered. It's like this is a new, this is a new, um, connection. This is a new connection, but it's, it's like you, I heard this is not who you want in your life. And what it is that you are doing is passing time by, um, waiting on a new chapter is what I heard to open up, waiting on a new chapter to open up. But this, it's like somebody is abusing their power to, you've overcome a lot, but this, this, this vibing low, this discord that's going on between, um, you and this person, right? It's, it's, it's not one for the light heart. It's not one for the light heart. And you peeping game is what I heard. You peeping a lot of game, um, Somebody is very talented, very talented, very militant, um, very headstrong, very headstrong. This is a new phase in your life right now to where you should be able to accomplish what you want and your soul should be, you know, feeling free, right? It's something that has not been made known, Pisces. It's something that has not been made known to you, boo. The G's want you to learn from your mistakes. I feel as though somebody is wrapped up in luxury, though, wrapped up in a lavish lifestyle. So, you know, they, they kind of, you know, scared to say too much of anything because they don't want that lifestyle to be taken from them. However, the G said, do you want your freedom taken away from you, freedom for you to... um? to act accordingly at this present point of time because the G said now is the time for you to pay attention and don't rely on the present. They don't want you to share your wealth neither. They don't want you to share none of your money, none of your money, but they want you to know that person that's on your mind, not this person that you're dealing with. It's okay to love them. It's okay. It's okay to love this person, male or female. But where you are right now, where you are right now, it's like somebody is interested in wanting to go elsewhere. Wanting to go elsewhere to a to a healthier connection is what I just heard. And that's the person that you're scared to love. Take it how it resonates. But naturally, I'm feeling as though um, whoever you are, you know that this person is very loving, very honorable, but it's something that you're scared about concerning this person. Something that you, you, you know, you scared of something concerning this person. And the G said, pray on it. You know, I may not see eye to eye, but you know what? They ain't got to believe what you believe, baby. That's the beauty of it, too. That's the beauty of it, too. That's that's the beauty of it. So that is the beauty of it. Let's see what else they want you to know. What else they want you to know, baby? I want you to be mindful of that smell, though. That goddamn old smell. Mm -hmm. They got my nose turned up, Pisces. 
Big dude, we got my nose turned up. You know, not because my nose is running. Hey, this AC and these fans uh, over the weekend got me stopped up. Nose running like a faucet. But my nose run or I may cough, get hot, cold, a little nauseous, depending on what messages and, you know, and how much energy I'm using, how many of those ancestors of ours are around. You know, I go through the motions when I'm, when I'm doing these readings, especially the personal readings. You know, see what else they want you to know, and then I'm going to cut out of here. I think I done took enough of your time, right? Ain't nothing but love here, though. I want y'all to be safe. I want you to notice that smell, too, because there might be some sort of spillage, pillage. You know what I'm saying? And don't procrastinate about shit. Don't procrastinate about shit moving forward. You know, you've been trying to manifest a lot. And I feel as though you've been trying to develop some sort of skill as well, too, right? Something going on with a child. A child of yours. A child in your energy. A child of this person that you are not seeing eye to eye with. A child of the person that you may be scared to love. Is what I'm hearing. Choose love over fear concerning it all, though. There's some decisions that you're about to have to make. So you can go on and move forward. And the G said, pack lightly. That's what they said, pack lightly. That's too much. Let me see. Okay. So, yeah, they said, pack lightly. Pack lightly. This is telling me that it's open season. This season is open for you. It's open for you. The season is open for you to pay attention to your spiritual belief system, your spirituality. Um, I'm feeling like, you know, you've, you're a bit self-involved right now. So let's get involved with your spiritual team. Mm -hmm. Let's get involved with your spiritual team is what the G said. You're, bre you're blessed spiritually. There's something about somebody's breast too. Something about somebody's breast. Somebody has been attentive to somebody's breast. What? Something is about to be a, a, a surprise to you, too. The G's want you to be happy. You do have some psychic abilities. They want you to believe in that and trust, trust your intuition. And they want you to apply it in your life on a day-to-day -day basis. You are admired by this person that you are scared to love. And that there are some possibilities with that connection. Um, but three's a crowd is what I heard. You hear me? Three's a crowd is what I heard. This is at the bottom of the deck. You got to address that smell, Pisces. You got to address it. What is that smell? Hmm? You're going to have to address it. Then the G said quick. They said quick. They said quick, quick, quick. Mm -hmm. They said quick. Address that smell quick. Medical treatment. Medical treatment. Because that smell is coming from, you know, partying, Lake Minnetonka diving, drinking, drugging, boozing. Drinking, drugging. Boozing is what the G said. Drinking, drugging, and boozing. And mm -hmm. drinking, drugging, and boozing. Somebody, you know, somebody shoot up, Pisces. Somebody shoot up. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot. Somebody shoot up, Pisces. Somebody shoot dog food. Somebody shoot heroin. Mm-hmm. Somebody going to court. That's a mystery as well is what I'm hearing. That's a mystery as well. Something has been going on. Um, I just heard for over a year. Over a year. In your community, that may be unbeknownst to you. Maybe unbeknownst to you. Something that has been... Brought, though you may know it, it's been some sort of crisis to where, you know, folk ain't trusting folk. They're not trusting people. Um, 
a lot I'm hearing, you know, folk not trusting you either. Folk not trusting you either, Pisces. But it's like whatever rises up out of this connection, you know, that you are trying to leave with that smell. Leave that smell there and get a checkup is what the G said. And get a and get a checkup is what the G said. And they said dead that shit. Dead that shit and love who it is you want to love. Mm -hmm. Keep your thoughts positive because, you know, I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody say, y'all. We got to focus on what it is that we want, not what it is that we are scared of happening. Focus on what it is that you want. You know what I'm saying? You want a loving relationship? Focus on that. You want to love that person? Focus on that. You know, let's pray on this departure is what I'm hearing because the G's, mm -hmm, the G's want you to dip. The G's want you to dip. You're not being fed properly there, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Your soul, your soul is yearning for that connection of the person that you are scared to love. The person that you are fearing to love, the G's said. Mm -hmm. There's some roads that has been closed for you on purpose. On purpose. On purpose is what the G's said. So, somebody is your twin. Somebody is the person that you are meant to be with. And I'm hearing that you better learn from your mistakes and this lack of progress in this relationship that you may be in now. With that smell, you or your twin are manifesting one another back and y'all are... Oh, okay. Y'all manifesting one another back is what the G said. And y'all also are manifesting some money opportunities. Follow the golden rule. And that rule is to 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 yourself be true first. And you got to vibe high. You got to vibe at that frequency. You hear me? Yes, vibe at that frequency, God dang it. Let's see what else they need for you to know. And I'm going to cut on the fight here. This love is monumental. That person that you are afraid to love. That person loves you as well. Mm -hmm. That person loves you as well. Yeah. It was some some sad, painful ending with you guys. Right? Some One of you guys afflicted so much pain. You know, I, I don't see nothing but tears and desolation. And loss that, you know, was surrounded around the two of you. But this person that you with now is making some of those wounds crop up with this person that you afraid to love. Karma bitch. That, 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 karma bitch, it is. Um, The G said they told you that this relationship was going to be short-lived. Ooh. And to stop cheating on the person who loves you. They said they told you that this relationship was going to be short lived um this person has switched up in their energy concerning you too you feel it though right you feel it G said learn from these mistakes you've been here before you've been here before they want you to meditate they want you to pray this is some news for you right now is what I'm hearing mm -hmm. about this confusion that's going on with that smell with that smell but you still ain't getting it you still ain't getting it you're not on the right path. You're not on the right path is what the G's is saying. Um, who is this one that you're speaking to on a regular basis about this person that you're scared to love? Again, keep your mouth closed is what I just heard. Keep your motherfucking mouth closed, God damn it. This person that you're scared to love can be trusted. They can be trusted. And the universe are, is gifting you with something. And it won't be no damn illusion. And they gonna, it, it won't be no illusion either. It won't. I heard. Pisces. Watch what you say out your mouth. Watch what you say out your mouth. Your tongue is a double-edged sword. 
they can speak life and they can speak death. But you know that already though, right? You do. You know that already. This person that you are scared to love, this is where your intense happiness is. This is the perfect contentment. You've been thinking about this person, goddammit. This is, this is, you're going to have to be quick-witted about some shit. You're going to have to be quick on your feet, too, about that smell. You hear me? That was your message, baby. See you.